Hello, hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about uh, three specific habits that can create breakthrough transformation in every single area of your life. We are talking about breakthrough transformation. By the way, in case you didn't know, my name is Vishal Sarkar. I've been a real world public speaker for the last 14 years. I've spoken at companies like Microsoft, Cisco, IBM, um, Google, Apple. And the reason I mention that is because today the three tips that we're going to give you are not from, um, you know, things that I share are actually very practical. So I'm not going to share anything that that is very generic. I'm going to talk about the things that actually have created results in myself. And more than me, the thousands of people that we have trained and the hundreds of people that I've personally coached inside our coaching program. So the first habit that I want to talk about is the habit of consistency. Consistency. Anything that a lot of people see, a lot of people can start very well. You know, I was just uh, talking to somebody recently and the gentleman is very highly qualified in terms of his uh, career path, but he is not finding the next level breakthrough in his life. And one of the things we found out after a conversation with him is he said, Bishal, I feel I start anything. You know, I start something very well and I'm, I'll be very doing it enthusiastically whether it's waking up early or starting a new habit like creating something or writing my book and but he said I'm, I'm gonna be doing it very well for the next for the first one day two day three day but then fourth day I'm out of track and then it takes me before I know it's six months that I've not done that has it ever happened to you that you do that too so the first thing you gotta understand is consistency is currency consistency is currency Consistency and a lot of people don't have that at all and that's why they struggle. That's why they They are st staying stuck. You know, there is one individual who reached out to me recently to join our We have a very high level program called elite transformation mastermind. It's not cheap. It's a 45 lakhs rupees to 50 lakhs rupees depending on which level uh, a year to join that join that membership right now and that man <coughs> uh, His name is Ashwin. He, he reached out from Middle East. He reached out and one of the things he wrote in his message, in his email, he said, I feel I'm exactly where I was 10 years ago. I feel I've not made any progress. You know, <clears throat> I'm 46 year old. I feel I've not made much progress in, his li in my life. Now, why do you feel somebody feels that? Well, number one is because they don't have consistency. You know, he starts something probably and he will <clears throat> give up instantly or maybe in the next, you know, first few days. Make sense? So the first thing is consistency. That's a habit that no matter what you do in life, you cannot, you know, just ignore so consistency second habit <clears throat> is the habit of useful learning and let me explain what I mean by useful learning see a lot of people will say yeah I learn a lot I read a lot I watch a lot of videos but the thing is are you doing it because is it useful it is useful or are you doing it because of entertainment <clears throat> see for example a lot of people they will watch a lot of videos every single day. That's entertainment. They're not using that. How is something useful when you use it? So somebody can watch hundreds of hours of videos on public speaking, but if you're not using, if you're not utilizing, that's not useful at all. So the first thing you gotta understand is you have to make everything that you do, you have to make it useful, right? So the, for example, you know, let's say I sit there and I'm, I'm ordering wrong kind of food right all the junk food but let's say i watch a lot of videos on good food then that good food video is not useful for me right because i'm not eating that so it's not a video what you require is useful learning and how does useful learning come is only when you have a mentor a coach somebody who can understand exactly where you are exactly where you want to be and give you a proven path on what to learn what to do and the daily action steps and accountability without which it's very hard for you to do anything in life <clears throat> so number one tip that i that i got is the the habit of consistency number one and number two is useful learning so think about it every single day a lot of times maybe you spend some time in useless learning you know you're checking something on social media or whatsapp you're getting a video and you're just doing it you're thinking yeah i'm gathering it i'm saving the video for later i'm taking some screenshot i'm taking some learning yeah this is good but look science has proven if you learn something if you don't put it into use within 24 hours that knowledge is 90 percent gone and if you don't use it in the first three days that knowledge is 99 percent gone which means that if you're learning something if you're not putting into use within first you know one day it's gone 
it's gone that's why you will see a lot of people who are very knowledgeable you know quote and quote they have intellectual knowledge but they are broke financially they are broke internally they are broken they have relationship issues all the time they are, they have health issues why and they don't they don't have great confidence because they are not using it right so first is habit of consistency second is the habit of um useful learning and the third habit is i i call it the making your nerves uncomfortable feeling comfortable making your nerves uncomfortable that means every single day you have to do something that you haven't done before it can be something that um that is outside your comfort zone see make a list sometime make a list about this thing number 1 what are the ultra successful people doing that i am not doing and what are the ultra successful people not doing that i am doing right ultra successful people they don't do what do they not do they are not you know uselessly uh, wasting time on social media but maybe you are doing it what do successful people do they have a mentor maybe you don't have so what are the things that successful people do that i don't do and what are the things that successful people don't do that i do change that you have to change that so the third thing is that i'm talking about right now is so remember the first one is habit of consistency the second one is focused learning and third is nerve make make you have to make your nerve uncomfortable so every one of the things i was teaching uh somebody inside our mastermind uh i think it was shridhar and one of the things we were t- telling them is how to create direct leading edge experiences direct leading edge experiences um so yeah direct leading edge experience means you know how many times a week how many times a day are you doing something that is making your nerves uncomfortable maybe it's you know going for a bungee jumping maybe it's making that uncomfortable phone call maybe it's uh, talking to somebody you have never spoken before maybe it's starting to make new friends it maybe it's walking into a neighbor's house that you have never walked into and just saying hello you know maybe it's giving a speech in front of 5000 people maybe it's actually going to your boss and asking for something like whatever you need to do maybe it's basically you know playing something for the first time after a long time for example one of the people inside our mastermind rajesh he played football after 30 years uh 30 years of his life and he was very happy when he was sharing that why because he is doing something after a long time he is making his nerves uncomfortable so your confidence will only grow when you do something for the first time so i have a question for you when was the last time you did something for the first time when was the last time you put put yourself out there at a place where you felt a little vulnerable where you felt a little uncomfortable most people will do their best to avoid situations like this most people will do their best to say no i don't want to go there let me hide yeah let, let me let me go let me hide let me run away from the situations and because of that they they feel very uncomfortable and and that's why they want to stay inside their comfort zone and comfort zone is the danger zone comfort zone is the danger zone you don't want to stay inside your danger zone you want to go to the edge of danger you want to face the fear and that's how you grow that's how your confidence grows and this is something that we do for people inside our program so if you want to grow your confidence level look elite transformation mastermind the program i was talking about in the beginning that is not even open for the next 3 years it's full like we are not taking anybody inside the program because i'm completely focused on many different things my team is focused right now but what we are doing is we are taking some people in sort of public speaking program so if you <coughs> want to uh and our program is called extraordinary speaker transformation so if you want to really transform your public speaking skills in such a manner that you know you grow a couple of things number one your confidence level you know number two your voice modulation number 3 your storytelling and connection number 4 your body language and number 4 your structuring the presentation in such a manner that actually you make impact so if these things are important to you reach out to our team uh, maybe you can see a you know number somewhere somewhere here and uh, reach out to our team and have a conversation about exactly what you need in order to you know create that next level of breakthrough and speaking because i don't want you to be like ashwin you know the man who reached out to me saying i feel i wasted 10 years of my life like that is the worst thing to say if you think about it you want to don't waste time I mean, there is no point wasting 5 10 15 years of your life in useless learning so remember the three things we spoke about today is consistency number 1 number 2 is focused learning and number 3 make your nerves uncomfortable so that you can grow you can transform yourself and things can radically transform for you 
right he has arrived okay anyways that's that's my tip for you right now hope you have a great time hope you make your year awesome and whatever you do make sure you take action that's my tip for you right now Vishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection see you soon